Hello and welcome to our first Dreamweaver website design project. In this series you'll learn how to build a complete website from start to finish using Dreamweaver CS6. You can use your own images and resources for this project or if you prefer you can download all of the project files shown in these tutorials. You can also get the complete series manual in printed or ebook format along with the high definition video tutorials from wizzybooks.com. OK, it's time to start building our website. So the first thing we'll do is we'll open up the main document. So I'll double click on that one and the document will appear. We're currently in design view and this is a blank page so we can't see anything. What I'm going to do is to switch over to the code view and you'll see that Dreamweaver has automatically entered some code in for us to start us off. The code that's entered here will depend on the default file type you've got set. Mine's set for HTML5, so it's inserted the code to give me a basis for my web page structure. The way that I've set Dreamweaver up to create HTML5 pages by default is to come to the Edit menu and come down to Preferences. In the New Document area, the default document type I've set to HTML5. If I click that to display the other options, you can see we've got HTML 4.0.1, strict and traditional, plus a couple of other types in there. HTML 5 has become the standard for current web design, so I'm going to leave mine set to this. I'll cancel that, but for those of you who've created a document and don't have this text, don't worry, this is what we're going to do in this lesson. So I'm just going to delete that. The very first line of code lets the browser know what type of document it is. And this is the HTML5 document declaration. So at this point what you'll need to do is to highlight all of your text and delete everything and then enter that first line of code. The opening angle bracket, exclamation mark, doc type, space, HTML, close angle bracket. OK, let's press enter a couple of times. And as this is an HTML document, we need an opening and closing HTML tag. Now a tag is constructed with an open angle bracket or the less than symbol followed by the tag name in this case HTML and then a closing angle bracket or greater than sign. I'm going to press return a couple of times so we've just entered an opening HTML tag and every time we open a tag we have to close it and a closing tag again starts with the opening angle bracket followed by a slash then HTML and a closing angle bracket and this is where Dreamweaver will help us out because we have the opening tag above it as soon as I type the forward slash Dreamweaver will pop the rest of the text in there for me so I now have an opening HTML tag and a closing HTML tag and the difference between the two is the forward slash just at the beginning of the text. We're going to be using tags all the time while we're creating HTML so we'll need to get used to the way these are laid out. Now everything we place in between these two tags is going to be our HTML code so we might want to give ourselves a little bit of space so that we can put the rest of the code in there. We'll cursor up. Our web page is going to contain a head section and a body section. Now the difference between the two is the head section will contain information for the browser or search engines, whereas the body section will contain the content that is displayed on the page. So let's open up a head tag. So again, we'll use the opening angle bracket and type in head, followed by the closing angle bracket. A couple of returns to give us some space between the two. And now we'll close the head tag with an opening angle bracket and a forward slash. And the head section is now closed. So everything we place between the opening and closing head tag will be information used by the browser or search engines. OK, underneath the closing head tag, we'll open up a body tag. Again, angle bracket, and this time body followed by the closing angle bracket and this time we'll give ourselves a little bit more space before we close the body tag. Now all web pages should have a title and when I say title I don't mean a title within the body that's going to be displayed on the page but a title 
in the tab of the web page. Let me demonstrate what I mean. We're going to have an opening title tag and we'll close the angle bracket but this time we're going to stay on the same line and we're going to type in the text for our title and that's going to be John O'Dell Photography. We've opened up a title tag so now we need to close that title tag and if I press the opening angle bracket followed by the forward slash Dreamweaver will finish off that closing tag for me. So let's see where this title appears. Up in the file name tab you'll notice that I've got a little asterisk next to the file name and that signifies that this file has got changes that haven't yet been saved and before I can preview it I'll need to save those changes. So I'll come up to file and save. The asterisk disappears signifying now that this file has been saved to disk. I'm going to preview this web page in my browser so that we can see where this title appears. I've got the web page open so I'm just going to press F12 and what that will do is it will open up my web page and here it is a completely blank web page but the title that we put in the head section has appeared here at the top of the screen on the page tab and search engines will use this title when it indexes our pages and displays it in search results. So I'll close that one down and come back to my HTML page. So we've inserted the HTML section with the opening HTML and the closing HTML and in that we've placed our head and our body section. Within the head section we've placed a title. So we've begun to structure our HTML web page and we'll continue with this in our next lesson.